If you're looking for an easy solution to vacuum up small spills, crumbs in your vehicle or around the house, then these two little vacuums here might be a perfect solution for you. Fantic is a brand that I've actually talked about this before. This is their battery powered car tire inflator. And this thing is absolutely awesome. I love this thing, I use it all the time. So I wanted to check out their two small vacuums to see really if they're usable. I love the idea of having a small handheld unit that's battery powered so I don't have to lug out my shop back, but I really didn't know if they're gonna provide enough suction to really get the job done. Now this is the Fantic V8 Mate. This is their newest offering for their little portable car vacuums. And we're gonna be unboxing this thing, checking it out, seeing its use case. We're gonna try it out, vacuum up some stuff. And uh, we're actually going to take this little meter here. This is a water lift gauge. It also measures uh, kilopascals. I never knew what that was, but a kilopascal is a unit of measurement that measures the difference between normal atmospheric pressure and the pressure from the vacuum. So we'll have two things to look at, right? We'll have the water lift, which is how much suction this thing, the motor can actually produce, and then also the difference in the atmospheric pressure. Uh, the other metric that you wanna look at with vacuums is CFM or the air movement. I don't have a way of testing that. So we'll just kind of do an anecdotal test there and just kind of feel it and see how it, how it works. Uh, but let's jump into this. So first things first, guys, I have to say the packaging is absolutely beautiful. I was very, very surprised by that. It's like they're the apple of uh, these little battery powered gadgets because the packaging is phenomenal. So we'll go ahead and open up the V8 Mate and right off the bat, we'll pull out the main unit itself, which is nice because you actually have a little mouth here so you can use it just like this if you want. You have your power button right here on the front and then also a little boost button right on top. So you can turn it on, it fires on. Okay, you have your exhaust venting out of the back here, I can feel and then you push the top button, you'll feel it kick up quite a bit. And that's, like it's quite strong actually. For a unit of this size, it really kind of blew me away. I wasn't expecting that much suction. On the lower setting, it's still gonna get the job done. In a car situation, I probably won't be using that at all. I would always have it on the higher setting. But around your house, if you need to vacuum stuff up on your, on your countertops or whatever else, that lower setting is gonna work for you. So the contents are awesome. You get this little storage bag here, and there's quite a few different attachments. You have a long hose, extendable hose, right? with a crevice tool, which is fantastic for getting in between your seats. It's actually very, very thin. Then you also have a little extension that you can plug right in the front here, so you can get more reach if you don't wanna use the hose. You also have a little brush attachment, which is fantastic as well. And this is really cool because you can either put it on the extension, or you can take the extension off and just use this piece you know, right onto the machine. Then you get this small little floor tool as well, and this thing is absolutely awesome. It has these little rubberized fingers on it, and traditionally when you're doing uh, pet hair removal or, or whatever else, you use a little kind of rubberized blade to gather all of the hair together and then you can vacuum it up easier. And this is serving that purpose as you're using it, which is really cool. And then you also have the option to slide this off. There we go. And then it just has a little felt piece on the front and you can use that just for everything else. And then lastly, you get a little brush that you can use to clean out the filter. So it's really nice the filter, I actually still have dirt in this because I just used this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to pull this uh, apart and get this thing emptied out. Um, but really quickly, you also have a charge port in the back. So you charge it up and then you're good to go. So all you have to do, you have this little yellow lever here, flip that down, that's just a safety so that you don't accidentally pop it open. Flip that down, push the button, that pops open, and then you can empty this out. Really nice and easy. Now, if you wanna access the filter, there's actually a little spot on the back here. Let me get up here and show you guys. I don't know if you can see, there's a lock and unlock button. And then on the canister, there's a little dot. So you just wanna line those up, just twist it to the unlock, pull it out. And then you just have this little canister here, pull that back, and here is your filter, right? So there's easy access to clean this whole thing out. And you have your filter there. It just pops back in, it has a nice little gasket seal on it. So it keeps everything nice and tight. And then once again, just line up the little dot on the canister to the unlock position, boom, and then twist it into lock. Just really quickly guys, I'm gonna vacuum this up, uh, all this stuff up that just poured out of this thing. Okay, so what is this for? This is not to replace your full blown shop vac. That's definitely not the purpose. It's not as powerful as a shop vac, which is pretty apparent, right? It's tiny. But what this is amazing for is because of its small size, you can stick it in the door pocket of your car, throw it under the seat, whatever else, and you have it, especially for me, I have kids, they eat in the back of the car, they spill a little bit of you know, Cheerios or whatever else, you can get this, get it in, get in there, vacuum it up, and it works fantastic for that. Especially on the detailing side, you wanna leave a nice finish. And this is what I'm gonna be using these for essentially, 
You do your whole detail, you want to make sure everything's perfect. Sometimes you have to get back in the car to wipe something up and you can track a little bit of dust and dirt into the carpets and you don't want to leave it like that. You want to leave a nice clean finish and having this little thing where I can just grab it, do a final little touch up and I'm good to go for the customer. So right now we're gonna go ahead and jump in and test it with this gauge to see what the water lift is and then also the kilopascals. Now this is actually rated at 12 kilopascals on their packaging. So we'll see if that's accurate. It also shows 30 watts of power, 120 milliliter um, uh, canister and it has an 80,000 RPM brushless motor. It's really cool. It kind of creates a suction, uh, cylindrical suction to it. Um, I'll try and get a video of it for you guys so you can see that. But overall, like, the, like I said, for the size, the suction is pretty phenomenal. I, I was surprised by it. I've used small vacuums like this in the past, and even with the boost button, they sit at the, the low setting of this one. So when you boost it up to the high setting, it's pretty good. Okay, now to test it with this, I. This is a cylindrical ball, so it's usually used on like a regular size hose. This is not a regular size hose, right? It's just a rectangle. So I taped it over, put a regular hole in it, and then I placed it on here and let it suck and see what it, what it produced. So on the low setting, it created about 30 inches of lift, water lift, and 7.5 kilopascals. Now again, this is rated at 12 kilopascals, so let's go ahead and bump it up to the full capacity, you know, full power. And now we are getting about 53 inches of suction or water lift and 13 kilopascals. So, so on this gauge, it's actually showing a higher level of kilo, measurement of kilopascals than what they actually list on the box. Now let's go ahead and go out to the car and see how this thing works. I'm gonna use it with each of the attachments and uh, see how it works. So right off the bat, I just used it tool only, no attachments on it. And this way is fine. It's a little bit hard to get into certain areas uh, as I'm doing my floorboard, just because of the short mouth on it here. But uh, it still worked fine. You would get used to that, especially, again, it's for ease of use here, and this thing is super easy to use. Now when we switch over and put on the hose, that's where I really, really liked it. That's where I prefer it, because I can just hold it in one hand and then have the vacuum, and I'm just going and vacuuming out. It makes it very, very easy. Also, getting in between the seats, like I said, phenomenal. Between the door sill and the seat is really, really easy to access. Now lastly, I did use the brush attachment and I didn't expect too much from it. It's a nice soft brush. So you don't have to worry about anything there unless you have that really, really scratch prone like piano black interior. I wouldn't run this on it. I would just be very, very careful. I would use a, uh, an additional brush that's really, really soft. But this thing is relatively soft. It's a nylon brush and it did a good job of kind of getting into the air vents and getting around my, my key spot and all that kind of stuff. It, it, I liked it. it. It worked well. It functioned better than I was actually anticipating. And lastly, I switched over to the full uh, floor tool, and this was nice. Now, I wouldn't use this in every situation. I, I Again, my go-to is gonna be the hose and the crevice tool. That's just how I, I, it works best for me. I like that the most. But this thing did a great job of leaving a nice, even pattern on the floors, which was nice. And it did a good job of collecting some of the stuff and really pulling things out of the carpet, which was nice. It kind of really helped to dig in and pull more things out. So again, this isn't gonna replace my shop vac, but this is absolutely awesome where I don't have to waste the time hooking up a shop vac, you know, lugging it out to the vehicle, especially if I'm at home um, and I'm not in my shop where everything's set up. This thing is fantastic. Or to leave it in the car and be able to, you know, clean up as you go so that it doesn't get com completely built up. Now they also have the V8 Mate, very, very similar uh, uh, unit here as far as power goes. This one was 12 kilopascals, this one's rated at 13. I didn't test that on this one, but I did actually use the unit to see how it feels. And I like this one a lot as well. The hose is very, very nice. It's kind of a crush proof, like rubberized material, which is nice. Um, a little bit thicker uh, capacity as well. So you can suck up larger items, still not huge items, but larger items with this one. The finish of this one is a gloss black versus the V8 Mate is this really cool satin black and I, I do prefer this one. I think this one looks phenomenal. However, if you need more capacity, this one may be your choice. Now for pricing, this little guy here retails for $89.99, but they have a sale running right now. We'll get into that in a second. Uh, and then this one retails for $119.99. However, when you go onto Amazon, there'll be a little spot where you can you know, click for the coupon. It'll bring the price down. And then also when you at checkout, use code JoshV8Mate for this unit or JoshV9Mate for this unit. And it'll get you some extra money off. So it actually comes out to, I have notes here for you guys. Uh, this one comes to about 83 bucks, so $37 off. And then this one comes to $61. Uh, so 29 bucks off. So 
huge savings there. So very cool little units. Again, very, very easy to use for those small cleanup jobs to keep your car looking its best. If you're really anal about your car, you're gonna want one of these to have and uh, to help maintain your vehicle. I just washed my car. I drove it over the weekend. Now there's a bunch of stuff on the driver driver's side. That's what I was doing today with this thing. That's what you saw me vacuuming up. And uh, I, I'm, again, very nice to be able to just grab that real quick and get the job done. So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope that video helped you. Please make sure to like the video. Make sure you subscribe, turn that notification bell on, and we will see you on the next one.